Muscle and strength, what's up? It's City Cat Zovic. The number one thing I'm known for is my V taper, guys. So today I'm gonna show you three tips to make the most dramatic V taper possible. I believe that there's three fundamental body parts that make a crazy V taper. And we're gonna start from the bottom up. So exercise number one is gonna be for our quad sweeps. And we're gonna utilize this with dumbbell goblet squats. Now an important thing when you perform this exercise, number one, grab a weight that you're comfortable with. Right now I'm using a 50 pound dumbbell. You're gonna keep your core tight the whole time. Legs are slightly above shoulder width and toes pointed out to 11 and one o'clock. Contract and squeeze at the top. Drop down slowly, squeeze. All right guys, now that we worked on our base, which was our quads, we're gonna go into exercise number two, work our way up to the lats. So the reason this exercise is so effective is because we totally isolate our back. So we're leaning against the incline, and what we're doing now is really contracting and retracting those shoulder blades back and coming back down control. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, we're gonna keep on climbing up all the way to the medial delts. Now, delts is a crucial part of having a sick V taper. That's what gives us the width. So, I like to do dumbbell side raises. Here's the catch. We use a long extended barbell. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grip it in the middle. And now, brace yourself, tighten your core. and raise, squeeze, and contract, okay? Don't do this. This is not effective. You're gonna go slow and control, contract, come down slowly. Keep good posture, shoulder blades back, chest up. Tight core, guys, okay? The core is the key to this. If you notice, I'm only using 20 pounds. The fact that this is such a long shape, it's gonna feel like it's 50 pounds. So start light. All right guys, that's it. That's my three tips for V-Taper. Something I want you to keep in mind. When people think V-Taper, they think about how do they make the waist smaller. Forget about making your waist smaller. How do I make my delts, my lats, and my quad sweeps bigger to create that V-Taper illusion? So, try these exercises, let me know what you think.